Hi, I'm Oliver Camado, Principal of the International Macrobiotics School. I've been uh, practicing macrobiotics for 44 years, got into it in 1980, and uh, wanted to talk a little bit about three levels of macrobiotic practice, three different ways that we can really use uh, macrobiotic teachings, um, which I see people you know, using one, two, or, or three different levels. And for me, the first, the first level of practicing uh, macrobiotics, and I'm using the word practicing, uh, perhaps I'll say a bit about that, because it feels that macrobiotics is a set of ways of understanding nature, our lives, and the set of practical things that we can do, our food, our exercise, our relationships, our community, our relationship with the environment, uh, and so on. And it's something that we practice every day in order to enhance the quality of our lives and to keep ourselves broadly well. Um, it's not something that we kind of just kind of do or I'm eating a macrobiotic diet in a kind of uninvolved way. It's something that we practice on a daily basis um, for to get the benefits of, uh, of this kind of way of living. Um, and it feels like this, to me, it feels like it's three broad levels. The first level is generally following um, a healthy diet and lifestyle. So a lot of people these days are interested in becoming healthier and they go to the gym, they eat certain diets, um, they want to be healthier. And at this level, you know, people are following a certain regime, certain rules. So many people get into macrobiotics and they learn a little bit about yin and yang and okay, we want to eat mostly plant foods, whole foods, um, eat more seasonally, eat foods mostly from our climate. Um, uh, we want to exercise um, on a really regular basis. Um, we want to uh, develop um, uh, nourishing and fulfilling relationships, uh, loving relationships with those close to us and with the community and with nature. Um, you know, so we establish some some practices which are almost bound to really improve our health and our, our physical health, how we feel emotionally, um, creates more emotional stability and um, more energy, and we can feel brighter and lighter, more joy, um, and um, yeah, people really, you know, really feel a lot of benefit. Um, so this is a really good thing to do, um, broadly following macrobiotic principles. Um, and really, if the whole, I'm thinking of the UK, the whole nation, if uh, more worldwide, people followed these kind of simple recommendations, which now are not only being taught by macrobiotics, but are also being taught by a lot of other people, eating plant-based, eating whole foods, eating real foods, getting away from um, ultra-processed foods, exercising, focusing on our emotional health, our relationships, you know, et cetera. Um, the level of health and happiness and joy um, would really increase and the amount of um, physical ill health and anxiety and depression and difficulties and problems would all decrease. And um, the NHS, the health systems would have much less work to do and could really, and the people in them could really enjoy, them, in, enjoy their healing arts and um, we could all get a kind of really good service there. So fantastic if one just wants to broadly follow macrobiotic uh, principles in, in, in eating and living. Some people want to take it to a second level, a deeper level, which requires more learning. It requires more understanding of, of um, how nature works, how we work. Uh, in macrobiotics from the oriental tradition, we look at balance a lot, how do we create balance? And we, we think of, uh, we look at everything in terms of yin and yang. Am I getting too tense? Am I getting too relaxed or too weak? Um, you know, am I too busy? Am I uh, too inactive? Uh, um, eating more yang foods, more you know, heavy, dense, rich foods, eating light cleansing foods, somewhere, somewhere in the middle there's a balance. Um, so macrobiotics in some ways is the study of balance and how to make balance in ourselves. And um, and then the next kind of theory on is five trans the five transformations or five elements that starts giving us a lot more detail about how to balance between five different aspects of our nature, five different organ pairs, um, uh, which is really, really useful. 
So inevitably in life, uh, we become imbalanced. Life is all about becoming imbalanced because we are we are we're 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 creatures that um, um, we become imbalanced for all kinds of different reasons. We overwork. We um, um, we go through different seasons, you know, hot, cold, um, which uh, does different things to our bodies. Um, sometimes we're very busy. Sometimes uh, we're very unstructured. Um, you know, things things happen to us. So these um, sometimes we give out uh, give out a lot to other people. Sometimes we need to balance that with with uh, more nourishing ourselves. So life, you could say, is imbalance. Um, and what we need to do, learn to do, is like riding a bicycle is to keep adjusting a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. And that way we stay on the bike and we keep moving forwards. If we let ourselves become imbalanced, what happens? We fall off the bike, we hurt ourselves, it takes us time to pick ourselves up, repair before we can get back on the bike again. So for me, that's a good analogy with uh, the value of, of keeping balance in one's life. Um, and actually it's, it's quite directly an example because in my experience and many other people's is that when we become when our internal imbalances become bigger that's when we start having accidents because we become we're either in too much of a rush or we become inattentive or we become uncoordinated and then we start tripping up tripping up on curves and falling over and breaking bones and having car crashes it's quite useful to be in a car if you as long as you don't have a high speed crash because it gives you some protection and the car gets mashed instead of our bodies getting mashed uh, which is kind of useful so i really enjoy this this level of of practicing of using macrobiotics um because it feels like it really enhances my life and i see it really enhancing other people's life so a few quick examples um um, maybe we're overactive and busy, a lot of stress, and we start feeling tired, exhausted, overwhelmed, um, uh, anxious, um, feel like we can't cope anymore, um, uh, more fearful, uh, nervous. Okay, well then our kidney energy's got low. Um, our deep energy reserves, which in oriental medicine is seen as being stored in the kidneys and adrenals are getting low. So we do things to, to strengthen our kidney energy. Um, uh, if we can, more sleep, more rest, some you know, exercises on our ki kidney, um, bladder meridians, um, and eating foods, uh, more long cooked, rich, mineral, mineral, uh, mineral rich foods, soups and stews and so on, to really strengthen our kidney energy. And then that helps us come out of that low place. Maybe we need to make some adjustments in our lifestyle as well. We can gradually get out of that exhausted, tired, bleak depressed kind of place start feeling some some joy and um uh some appetite for life again um or maybe we've gone through a period in our life of having to give a lot out maybe we're working kids maybe having to look after parents um, maybe our role is you know our work is as a nurse or as a parent um carer and we're giving a lot out and then our giving reserves become depleted um, our nourishing other our nourishment reserves get depleted which in oriental medicine relates to the spleen pancreas energy um, the pancreas is producing enzymes and and along with the, the stomach uh, those organs are, are in charge of nourishing us taking our food in which then goes into our body and nourishes us and also other forms of nourish you know other forms of nourishment being with friends um, you know, listening to music, reading, whatever it is that nourishes us also nourishes that spleen energy. So if we're having to give a lot out, um, I remember a period in my life, uh, about three years where I was uh, working quite hard. I, I have a habit of overworking, which uh, doesn't help my spleen energy. And also my mother had, my father died and my mother uh, was not able to look after herself very well, so um, I went up there for went you know, drove 100 miles to look after her for 24 hours once a week, uh, pretty consistently for for about three years. Um, at the end of which she she died. Um, I was sad to see her go, obviously, but it was also a relief because I I was squeezed out, not enough time to nourish myself. 
so I really focused on nourishing my uh, my spleen energy. A lot of um, the sweet, naturally sweet, creamy foods from sweet vegetables and sweet grains and some nice macaronic desserts. Uh, more time lying in the sun, receiving some massage and body work from other people. Um, make sure I was spending good time with friends, lying in the sun, being in nature, doing the things which really nourish me to get my spleen energy back up. What I see is, you know, so many, particularly adults, um, get stuck in a certain pattern of maybe low kidney energy, of exhaustion, overwhelm, uh, depressed, you know, help, helpless, and stay in it for years and years and years. So a lot of people get stuck in a low spleen pattern, completely undernourished, resentful, frustrated, uh, unhappy, um, feel unsupported, unnourished. And just stay in it for years and years or decades and decades um, but you know these are things that we can change and i just love i love that empowerment and that creativity that we can have that we can really make positive changes in our lives lungs breathing relationship with others um you know looking after our internal health recognizing when we become imbalanced rebalancing strengthening um so oh we've gone this way back to the middle, gone this way, back to the middle, gone this way, back to the middle. This is a real art. Um, and uh, it really adds the quality of our life. Plus, this will take us to a deeper level of health and also a deeper level of preventing ourselves uh, from getting serious or life-threatening illness. I, macrobiotics, definitely don't have 100% take on how to completely prevent serious uh, illness it happens to some people following macrobiotics i think much much less than the general population uh, i have a lot of macrobiotic friends i'm 67 i haven't taken any pills for 34 years i've got a lot of macrobiotic friends in their 60s 70s still very active still really enjoying life um, still working doing things projects um good minds um not taking any pills um and this is the way it should be. This is the way it should be. This is the well, this is this is what's possible for us as human beings. We don't have to go into a steady decline from our 50s, 60s, 70s onwards. Um, gradually it needs you know, more problems, more pills, more treatments. Life becomes smaller and smaller and more and more limited. Uh, we want to stay, we want a big life, which was the original meaning of macrobiotics, uh, macro, big, uh, bios life. So this takes, this takes a good amount of study uh, because we need to understand how we work physically, emotionally, and be, be able to know how to change that. Um, and I love education. That's why I run a school because I feel this information is so valuable. Our look at five day looking after your health course here or the online six steps course, both give uh, a lot of really good understanding and tools uh, in this way. Third level of macrobiotic practice, and I think this was a level which really attracted me to macrobiotics, is really asking ourselves, uh, what, it, what, is, what is life about? Um, like, why am I here? What's, what's meaningful for me to do? It's like, am I just kind of feeding myself and just kind of getting through every day? Or, you know, is there some deeper meaning? And um, for me, the larger meaning um, of life is that um, we're... <laughs> we're given this life it's a classroom <laughs> it's a classroom for our learning um um we come out from we incarnate from this from this from the spirit world we come into this physical body and how is life there's a lot of joys and fun and isn't there like the everyday challenges um and every challenge we have in our life is an opportunity to learn it's showing us that we have something to learn it's showing our limitations and our understanding and our in our habits and way of life um, so i think one big reason here is is uh, to learn and we need experiences experiences of what give us learning uh, life wisdom we can't learn by from a book we can get inspired by books uh, but we need experience um, with people doing things traveling whatever it is um, which gives us experiences from which we can learn and grow and learn more wisdom about what is life really you know, really about and find more really deep joy and love within us and more happiness, more gratitude. Um, 
being happy for no reason the opposite of cute consumerism to be happy you need more of this more of that more of this more of that um, um we need a certain level of you know possessions for for health and happiness but beyond that we really don't need so much but that's the kind of capitalist consumerist way of life you need this to be happy hey we can just be happy we can just be happy for no reason <laughs> it's just it's our natural right to just be happy for no reason um but we have to work for that um we have to when we get challenged physically emotionally when we feel really sad in grief um, separation loss angry frustrated you know okay why is this happening this is because of the emotions that are happening this is because of our way of life we need to look at ourselves find out how can we change these things what do i need to learn here um and we need to find out well what is the what is this what is the meaning for me in this life you know i, I think a broad meaning is learning uh, that we're here to learn but we need to personalize that what, what what do i need to do well maybe i need to go and do this course at the international microbiotic school possibly or any other course or learning or read a certain book or travel or you know, go to a certain place be with certain people um and do some particular studies um you know to help us on that journey be with particular people talk to people talk to friends work out what is it um and i've talked you know i talk a lot over the winter this is a time of um being more quiet and going inward and feeling well what's this next year about for me what do i want to learn in myself how do i want to change myself what changes do i want to make outwardly in my life um, to me this feels like the way we make the best use of this life wow we've been given a life so valuable so valuable to be given a life let's make the most of it through our learning and also let's enjoy ourselves let's enjoy everything that's good about life um being in nature people rewarding relationships and let's also help other people to uh, enjoy their life more let's see if we can help other people relieve some suffering and find more, more joy and love in their life so for me, those are the three levels of macrobiotics. Um, whichever level you want to take macrobiotics to, if you're just interested, when I say just, that's a bit um, derogatory. If you're interested in generally eating in a more balanced way, exercising, dough in, um, you know, et cetera, fantastic. That's going to improve your health. Really encourage you to go to the second level of really studying and learning how to really fine tune things. Uh, within you uh, physically emotionally mentally uh, because that's going to really increase your healing and your your learning and your joy and the amount of love you experience third level um, you're really going to go to a deeper level of yourself and um, live from a deeper place and find out what is actually really really important for you to do and experience in this lifetime so that you make the best of it okay i hope that's useful um and uh, if you feel like coming to the school and uh, learn more i'd be delighted to see you